Octlantis, the secret city of the ocean's smartest aliens. They are shapeshifters, escape artists, masters of camouflage. For centuries, we thought they lived alone, lurking in the depths, one tentacle always ready to vanish into the dark. But deep beneath the waves of Eastern Australia, something remarkable has emerged. A city built by octopuses. Welcome to Octlantis. The octopus is one of Earth's most mysterious creatures. Three hearts, blue blood, a brain that extends into eight limbs. They are aliens in all but name. In fact, some scientists call them the closest thing to an alien intelligence on Earth. For most of human history, we believe these creatures lived solitary, antisocial lives. Each octopus had its own den, its own secrets, its own world. But we were wrong. In 2017, marine biologists diving off the coast of Jervis Bay made a shocking discovery. At a depth of around 10 to 15 meters, they found a collection of dens, not just one, but several. Shells, rocks, debris, all arranged into structured dwellings. This wasn't random. This was architecture. This was Octlantis. In this undersea city, as many as 15 octopuses live within meters of each other. They communicate using color changes and arm gestures. They steal, they fight, they flirt, and sometimes they even evict each other. We are watching complex social behavior evolve before our eyes. Is this cooperation, competition, or something even more intelligent? But where does this intelligence come from? The octopus has 500 million neurons, comparable to a dog. But here's the twist. Over 60% of those neurons are not in the head, but in the arms. Each limb can act independently. It can taste. It can learn. It can even solve problems on its own. You're not looking at a brain with limbs. You're looking at eight semi-autonomous minds, all coordinating with the central brain. Think of it as a distributed intelligence system evolved in total isolation. The residents of Octlantis are not just renters. They are builders. They construct their dens from whatever they can find. Shells from clams, discarded crab legs, even human trash. Each den is part of a larger network, like a city block. They don't just adapt to their environment, they shape it. Some fringe scientists have even speculated could octopuses be extraterrestrial in origin? Their DNA is unlike any other known invertebrate. Their intelligence evolved rapidly, without clear ancestors. Of course, there's no evidence they came from space. But standing here, watching them build cities under the sea, you understand why people wonder. Octlantis is more than a curiosity. It's a glimpse into how complex life might evolve in other worlds, under different rules. It challenges our ideas about intelligence, about society, even about emotion. Octopuses aren't just clever loners. They're innovators, architects, survivors. And maybe, just maybe, they're starting something bigger than we ever imagined. So next time you look at the sea, Remember, beneath those waves, in places no light touches, a city is breathing, an alien mind is dreaming, and the world is far stranger than we ever believed. Seatlantis, where mystery meets mind.